friends. So I had a little bit of a scare with Mr. Hey Hey yesterday. Um, I'd been looking up, you know, heat stroke in chickens. Let me see Hey Hey. Where did this chicken go? Let's try to stay cool. Um, I get worried every time I see him laying down, but he, he there's no, I mean, it's really cool right now, so he's okay. Anyways, I had a scare with him yesterday. Um, it, the heat index is awful this week, and I just was reading up, doing some research on chickens, you know. And at 90 degrees Fahrenheit is when they start to struggle. And while we live above 90 here, all the time. So, I came outside, and Mr. Hey Hey was exhibiting some, like, heat stroke symptoms. Not like he was stroking yet. Hey, 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 how we doing? You're a little hot, let's let's say hi to everybody. Can I check you out? Let me check you out. You say hello. So Mr. Hey Hey scared me a little bit and he came out here and he was all kind of sprawled out on the ground just trying to cool off, but he just couldn't. Um, so I took some extraordinary measures and uh, I read that if they are like heat, heat exhausted, like they, you know, like it's not looking good if they're showing a certain symptom, that you need to go dump them in cool water and not cold, cool, and not dunk. You just put at least their feet in and you go up to their neck. And I read that, you know, that's not something you want to be doing all the time, but if like you're afraid they're about to die, then you do that. And I've taken everything that I can to make it cool in the Polish palace, you know, Polish palace, that's going to be a problem. Um, I'm doing everything I can. The little ones, they're doing really good, but Mr. Hey Hey's just struggling a little bit. He is a bigger, a little bit bigger than the other ones. Um, so I don't know if that's what it is, or he's just, he's just struggling a bit more and that's okay. So I got him in cool water, he, which cooled him down quick. And then I let him dry off and cool down in the barn dominium during the heat of the day in a little like chicken container thing I have. And then here, at, when it got when we got back um, from running errands, I actually went and got like so much fruit and veggies that they will eat that I can freeze and stuff for them, so they can have like cool snacks during the day. But we also set up a box My fan. Friends, they're doing great. They really are. Um, so, I'm about to do this water. Don't mind it. It looks a little nasty, but I'm about to do it. So, I've read that box fans, you know, can be, it's a trade-off, you know, if it's good or bad. But right now, it's so hot that we truly, truly, hey, hey, at the very least, needs it. And so, yesterday when I put it up, little dude came right up here to it and stuck his butt right up to that fan. So it's blowing pretty hard. I don't think he likes just how hard it blows. Um, but it goes, it, you can feel it all the way to, I'd say about right here you can feel it. So, but it's definitely keeping things much cooler in here. Look at him get his little tail feathers. What a silly dude. Y'all spilled all your food last night. Y'all have food over there too. I don't quite know what happened. Another thing I read is that um, they shouldn't have anything that has corn in it, obviously, because corn uh, does heat and so, or makes your internal body temperature rise. Um, so that means no more chicken scratch. Um, chicken scratch is like a treat, but I was in a rush last night to get them food, and so I, I did pour some chicken scratch. But we have other food for them. I didn't know if you noticed that. Just kind of wanted to clear that up and be fully, fully transparent with you. But yeah, this is where we're at right now. Um, these guys are doing good. Um, I will go ahead and address this. I wasn't really gonna talk about it. I feel awful talking about sad things, but I did have a third Polish chicken and I lost her to the heat. Um, it was right in the middle of all of that stuff with honeydew and so I think that, if I'm being honest with you, I think she, I had her inside and I was doing things like to work with her, but 
I think I was just so involved with Honeydew that I didn't do nearly as good of a job as I could have with her. And I take full responsibility for that, but I've talked to a lot of people who they're losing, doing everything they can, making their own electrolytes, which is actually something I'm doing today to have on hand if Hey Hey goes haywire again. Um, but people who make electrolytes, spray their chickens down, misting fans, all these things, and they're still losing chickens. So it's a really hard time for chickens right now. Um, yeah, we're going to just try our absolute best to keep everybody cool. It's all the other free roam chickens. Hey, don't do that. Come on, don't do that. Come on, hissy. Hissy. Please. Oh, you're gunpowder. You're hissy. Okay, gunpowder, please don't do that. For some reason, all the other free range chickens are fine. I think it's because they can go and find like different parts of shade. They can go like a lot farther for shade. And I definitely feel bad for Hey Hey and crew that they can't necessarily do that. But if I turned them free, I mean, the other chickens would literally kill them because Polish chickens are so low on the pecking order because they um, the thing that, the very thing that makes them unique is like a target for them because they're shown as weak because they can't see and they bump into things and just other chickens will just take them out. And if you don't know, chickens can be awful to each other. And these are like my prized birds, my, my baby birds. These are my birds and I need them as safe as can be. So that's where we're at. Hi friends, so as I'm editing this video, I actually wanted to go ahead and show you what I've done for my birds. So, cut up quite a bit of banana. It's in the freezer. I want to show you their snack selection. We've got apples. They are red apples, if you want to know. They're like granny apples, I think. Are granny apples red? I don't know what they're it's not listening. I got them some strawberries. And I got them some watermelon. And I definitely cut the watermelon wrong. And I wanted to try to melon ball them because I thought that would be really cute, like frozen. And um, well, if you don't have a melon baller, don't try to use an ice cream scoop to do it because it won't work and you will be disappointed. <laughs> But yeah, friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed getting to see a little bit of Hey Hey and how we're doing in the Polish palace. I got it. That was good. But I'll catch you next time. Polish palace. Polish palace. <laughs> Polish palace. That's how it comes out. Yeah. But I'll catch you guys next time with another video. Bye, friends.